Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Guys, I should really start a news channel, especially centered around YouTube and them just doing really stupid things without telling any of the content creators. I mean, come on, th this whole hashtag uh, YouTube agegate thing, even though it doesn't affect me at all because I'm pretty sure all of my content is 100% kid friendly, they should really be telling us about these things because uh, I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to be happy about it. There's some people who probably would have dialed down their uh, content a little bit if they had known about it, but maybe that's what I should do. I should start a new channel based on gaming and uh, YouTube. M maybe. If I ever if I ever hit a dire situation where I genuinely need the views. <laughs> okay, so today if you didn't notice the title, it's uh Pulsars and um yeah, that's what we're going to be messing with. We're going to be creating them throwing them at things, and just genuinely exploding them. So, how do you make one, you may ask? Well, that's a great question. I've done it several times, but I'm pretty sure this old trick still works. If you get Earth, go to Mass, and make it just something ridiculous, like a thousand times uh, the sun. Nope, that is just a dark black hole. Okay, so I was actually incorrect. I checked how I did it before, and pulsars are actually a little bit more complicated to make, considering it's something you wouldn't think of. Um, so we get Earth, and we switch, it was radius, to one sun. Eh? Eh? Oh! Wait, what? What? It's a normal star and it's a pulsar, what? What have I done? Uh... Uh... Well, that's quite interesting. I'll admit it. Um... That... That is not normal. Um... I'm gonna call it a Pulsun, because, like, Pulsun, like, Pulsar was Sun. No. Well, you know what? My meme is going to live anyways. Don't judge it. So... Now that this is a thing, we can, um, begin, uh, basically messing with them. So first question is, what happens when two of these hit each other, considering their spinniness and their insane amount of mass, um, in density? What exactly is going to happen? Um, if we can find Pulse Earth somewhere in here, here we go. This is our go-to. Oh man, this is so much smaller. How did... Well, you can see that the physics changed in between uh, these updates because this is this is the difference between the two updates and what happens when you make a pulsar. Uh, but that's okay. It's not going to kill anyone that it's kind of different. By kind of different, I mean really different. This has the mass of 3.91 suns. What? Everything is so different, I don't understand. This one's so much more dense, too. Okay, we're just going to ignore that, and we are going to uh, slow this down and let these hit each other. If this does nothing, I'll just... Whoa, let's save this guy first. That's probably a good idea. There we go. Here we go. And the pulsars are going to hit each other any second now. And three, two, one. Boo! Oh! Oh man! This picture is. Uh, well. This is going to be the thumbnail. Um, one moment, please. System processing. I, I've got to just uh, get a nice uh, picture of this very quickly. There, that, that, that'll that work. That'll work. And, uh, let's just admire. Now, there is actually solid material coming out of this explosion, which is surprising. Along with a supernova, this star is now blue. Um, which I guess that's not that surprising, considering it just super- Oh! The pulsar just disappeared. Um, 
Oh, this star has also supernova Now there's like a double supernova. I think I've actually had a video on that before, a dualonova or something. Um, and I think that's the end of that. They did just absolutely annihilate each other. There isn't really anything, wait. There's multiple stars left. <laughs> the explosion has actually created multiple stars inside. Um, a lot of gas, these stars, which, look at the activity on these. That is a lot of solar activity. Um, they are not stable at all. So we've got all these stars flying out, all these fragments, two supernovas. Um, uh, I think it's safe to say that everyone is now, like, dead if anyone was near this. Um, if the supernovas didn't get them and the crazily, uh, active stars throwing radiation everywhere didn't get them and all the fragments didn't get them, um, something would have killed them by then. Um, it actually looks interesting. You can tell which uh, supernova is which, and they're kind of uh, glitching out their Z fighting, which is a, a technical thing. The graphics card can't decide which one's on top. Um, and we can see that. Oh my god, why do I get spammed? No, I don't even have access to my Steam. Please. Please. Okay, so now that that stopped being noisy, let's finish this. I think the lag may be too much. Yeah, I think I may have killed the simulation. Wait, is this going? This is actually going several years per second yet. Oh, it's going to take a very long time for this to go away. So I think that's the end of this simulation. So we have answered two questions. How to make them and... What happens if they hit each other? So now, an even more interesting question. What happens when, uh, let's, let's try to actually mix this up a little bit. We'll get Pulse on. Hey, it's not, it's not bright anymore. It lost all of its light. That's disappointing. Aw, poor thing. And we're going to get, uh, Spook Vooper, and we're going to try to create a stable. Oh my god. No. Stop. Stop the spam. This, this kids, is why you always turn off literally every form of communication. And now we're just going to plop this down and see how hot it is at its current point. Um. Okay, getting very hot. That means we're too close. Um, auto orbit. Temperature still getting hotter. Further away. <laughs> auto orbit. Temperature going down. So we can also turn up the albedo. Probably half? That's not gonna do it. Okay, we need to go out much further. Is this tidally locked? Or just position locked? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, sh shoot. Well, that didn't end well. Um. Let's redo this. Uh, we'll get Spook Vooper if we can find him again. There we are. And go a bit further out. So before we actually were in the inner ring, let's go in between. Or there aren't actually rings. It's just the way this looks. Oh, it's so trippy. Now if we put it like here, it won't actually be hit by anything if you look at this. So we're going to put it right here. Uh, we're going to auto orbit, uh, auto auto orbit, and we're going to not position lock it, and we're going to auto orbit it, and there we go. It's orbiting. Um, what is our temperature like? Six hundred degrees. It's a little warm. Um, I'll admit it. How about if we turn up the albedo all the way? No, 
that would actually cause the uh, seasons to be really unstable anyway. So we're definitely going further out. Let's double our distance and auto orbit may look like it's in a ring but it's not actually touching any radiation don't worry all of you people who have subscribed and gone your houses on spook pooper it's 100 percent safe except it it's it's slightly you know at the moment uh without any water everything's on fire uh if you go there your skin will boil off but it's safe it's safe you know no big deal. Okay, so we're going to put it a little bit further away. And I think that's going to do... No, much further away. Much, much further away. Okay, we're getting about to the point where it's safe. Um... And that is actually perfect. That is pretty much Earth temperature now. 15 degrees Celsius. I can live with the... Oh my. The light is so orange that is coming out of this pulsar. It's actually t basically making the water orange. Oh jeez. It looks like a never-ending sunset. Um, Look at that. Now, if you guys know what Spook Pooper normally looks like, um, I'll actually pull it up in a second so that you guys can tell the difference. But that is that is not a normal color. Actually, let me put Earth next to this so that you guys can tell the difference of Earth. I'm assuming you guys know what Earth normally looks like. And are you serious? You gonna Earth? Come on! You had to go that far away. Yeah, look at Earth. Oh man, it looks like my Australia planet. Wow, yeah, that that looks really creepy actually. It looked like there was just like a blood purge or something. Jeez. Um so yeah, it's nice as Spook Pooper. It oh, we can see normal Spook Pooper here actually. Um as nice as Spook Pooper is, this is uh a little bit creepy and if you want to uh, not live on this version of Spook Pooper, I 100% understand where you're coming from because this right here is the nice version so it's okay uh, but yes we have answered the question you can support a planet around a pulsar but it makes the planet look absolutely creepy and um yeah so Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in having a little house on Spook Vooper. And um, if you feel like being on the creepy version of Spook Vooper, go ahead. The housing is much cheaper there. Also, you may lose the uh, ability to see the color orange because there's so much of it. But, uh, yeah, ne next time. Also, watch out Vooper News coming, coming to a channel near you, maybe quite possibly depends if I actually feel like doing it goodbye